I'm so sorry I wasn't always there for you. You don't have anything to apologise for. I have. I could have done more, and I should have done more. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Buster. Hi, my name's Luke Morgan. I just wanted to say that I really enjoy watching you play football, and this is my son, Ollie. Actually, I'm back to discuss setting up an academy. Is that something you might be interested in trying out for, Ollie? Just tell me where and when. I want to know what's going on with you two. And don't lie to me. Oh, come on. He's my dad. And you're my best mate for, frankly, an embarrassing amount of time. Something, uh... Bad. I mean, to me, when I was a kid, I put my trust in someone I shouldn't have. Whatever happens, you've always got me and the team. We're your family now, Ollie. You just need to trust me. Well, for a second there, you looked terrified I was going to ask you out. <sighs> out of curiosity, if I were to ask... I think I say eight o'clock tomorrow, I hope you bought a suit. Oh, I think the kids call that a date. We are a team. Forget about the family. Stop moping. Yeah, well, my dad was supposed to be helping me out with my one-touch passing. Well, I'm sure he's got a lot on. No, I'm sick of him. I'm sick of my whole family. Hey, none of that will matter when you're playing for England. you got me to train with. And tomorrow, I want you to wear the armband. OK, Captain. All I want to do is work hard and make something of myself. I mean, I don't want to turn out like my dad. Now you stick with me, I'll see it happens for you. Only one thing you've got to do. <laughs> What's that? Everything you're told. You understand that, don't you? I don't understand. Are you feeling a little bit confused? I know I like girls. But... Well, you know what? There you are. So you're probably not gay. Yeah, but the thing is, I think I am. I wish I'd never told you. No, Ollie, I'm glad you did. You shouldn't keep things bottled up no matter how big the problem is. I do think you should talk to your dad and just tell him how you feel. You take your shirt off. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Most kids give their eye teeth for a promotional opportunity like this. Maybe one of the other lads from the team will do a better job. I, no, no. I, I'll do it. Go on then. Photos. I do whatever. Private. So, if you show it to man. Because I've been doing a bit of modelling. Well, either that or he's got himself a new girlfriend. I don't think he'd like you looking at that one. I'm going to go and have a word with my son before he goes away, alright? You met me like your star player. That could have been you if you'd had the bottle, lad. I always said it. Yeah. See you, Brody. I'm just getting off. Ollie! Lucas, bro. Listen, avoiding this won't make it go away, you know. Get off me! Ollie, tell me who took these pictures. I can't. It's Scott, isn't it? Ollie, look at me. It's Scott been touching you. You've got to tell me. Yes. I've just been to see Scott. Is it going to be all right? It could be. If you told the truth. If Scott didn't take those photos. Yeah, well, I don't want to talk about this. What I should have told him is... I've seen photos like that before. And I think I've always took them. What? 
I know. Because Buster did it to me too. I never thought I'd get this chance and I'm not gonna let it go, so please just give yourself a break and tell the truth. It only wasn't Scott. It was Buster. One more thing we have to do. Go to the police and tell the real story. Wait, no, I can't. You're gonna have to go, all right? My, my dad could be home any minute. I'm not just asking for Scott. I haven't got it in me to do it on my own. But I've got no choice now. See, before I could kid myself that it stopped. Yeah, well, I don't want to. Right, just go, Ollie.